Classes have features. By that we mean its attributes and its, its operations. While classes really describe the real world, that is, the problem that you're solving, features are something that are going to end up inside the computer. Obviously, your attributes are going to translate into instance variables in your object-oriented programming language, and your operations are going to be translated into methods. We're going to look a little bit at the attributes and the operations, but in general, in addition to the names of the attributes and operations, we're going to have some type information and uh, possibly also some, some names for uh, the attributes so they can be referred to in, in, in your models.